That's the Ryan show. That's the Randolph White remix. Not the Taylor goat. Swift. That's not the goat. That's it's Randolph. It's not the goat. Yeah. That's Randolph. 104.1 KRBE. That's Randolph. Because you know that's true. Randolph White. Now time for Rule and Ryan's prank call. Okay, they're going to have to turn off my microphone. They're going to have to, like, uh, (laughs) gag me, hold me back, because I was laughing so hard at this prank last week. You've had this company trying to collect debt from you for how long now? Every day, they call me a couple times a day. Oh, my God. I have nearly run out of characters and excuses for them, but we just keep on trying, and you're going to hear the best ones. So and what did we learn? We learned last week, Special K, that the person calling you is now, like, supervisor level and is ma- making notes of all the things you've said in your other calls, and now they're, they try, he tried to call you out last week on some of your facts. Because they listen to my other calls that they made. They record all these calls and then they learn from them and try to get the money Did out they of them. study them like you know NFL players on uh, you know Tuesday they can sit <laughs> down and they do yeah. film. Look at film they're like this line is Let's trouble this guy <laughs> y'all am I in a meeting am, am I is my voice or my characters being played in a meeting I at bet. this telemarketer oh, sure. establishment I, I would or collections establishment what not to do we really yes. want that Chase Lounge back <laughs> here's what not to do okay so today uh, we will not play the, the person who we'll say Jessica okay well we're not going to be Jessica who owes the money we're going to be Jessica's daddy now oh my God. that's because well you'll find out why exactly <laughs> we're going to be Jessica's daddy so here's what happened I hit record when the collection agency called me. This is how it went. You're calling for uh, Okay. Now, you do know that uh, she went to jail. She basically pistol whipped me and stole my Ozempic, is what I'm saying. So oh, they, uh, was a- and, uh, no, this is her daddy. You know, she went on one of her tirades. You know, you've talked to her before. Uh, I believe y'all have that recorded. Yeah, obviously, you're being recorded today. But she <laughs> is on a wild tear right now. And she well, said she owes you money. I cannot disclose any information without her authorization. All right. Well, she owes a lot of people money. And it uh, sounds like you're one of them. I feel so bad for you. And yeah, now, she did she rob you? Was this a robbery? I'm sorry? No, sir. No, I know. I'm sorry. I'm I'm the one who has to live with the crazy ass woman. Now, I, I assume she came on down to your establishment and uh, pistol whipped you, stole your Ozempic, and then robbed you for how much? Two hundred dollars, you said. I haven't told you anything, sir. We cannot disclose any information without her authorization. And I understand that, but let's help you get your money back, young man. Do can I pay you back for her? I- if you want to pay, I can accept any amount, <laughs> but I cannot yes, disclose any information from my end. Uh, well, th- th- and I totally understand that. She was shady to begin with, you know, and that's why they took her on in there. So if you want to help her, we could put up the money for her bail, and y'all could track her down and lay her across your lap, spank her a little bit until she relents. <laughs> now, that's she didn't like touch her, but you can ask her to call us back. No, sir, I'm telling you right now. I don't know why you keep calling me. You've called me about 700 times. I could give you the number to the jail. Would you like that one? Thank you so much for giving your precious time. You have a good day. Uh, wait, I wasn't done with you, dummy. <laughs> I'm trying to tell you something, and then you keep on staffing me. Now, do you want your money or not? I'm sorry, I cannot disclose any information from my end. Well, why the hell are you call me if you can't say nothing? You just call me up to bullshit me? It's going to waste my time because that's what I'm doing with you, dummy. All right, I will take your number off. Have a good day. Uh, no, don't take my number off. I still love talking to you. I record all these and I put them on TV. All right. You're about to be famous, young man. I can't wait. I, some people are going to want your autograph. They're going to be like, hey, can I get dummy's autograph? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. No, I know. Uh, I know. Thank you. Um, may I know your name, please? It's Richard Hunt, and you can call me Dick. Richard um, Hunt? But you can call me Dick. Can you spell it out for me? Oh, yeah, I can spell it out for you. <laughs> See you next Tuesday. Okay. All right. Bye-bye. All right. I love you. Bye-bye.
Listen. <laughs> oh, I just love how you sass him with that dummy <laughs> to get to keep him see if you get a reaction out. <laughs> Wait a second now, dummy. dummy. I'm gonna stay dummy. here and record you, but I played on TV. <laughs> oh, that was excellent. Oh. It's the saga of the Shays Lounger that has not been paid for you in can't Kevin Keeps getting the call. You'll take your money. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh that's I'll tell that. you that. Any amount you want to give. What a... That is so weird. Oh, I've so never fun, heard guys. that. That he won't tell you how much it the Of course not, it's a scam. They but we'll take, take your money. money of any amount. That is a bunch of bullcrap. a scam crap. that he would have just said. I can tell you. Right. Yeah. How much? Right. Oh. If it was a scam, he would say, oh, it's just, you know, it's 150 bucks. You're the dad. But what if well, he, he really offered more money than what she owed? Exactly right. That's why that it. guy's like, I don't care. He's like, I'll take it. Whatever you want to give me. Um, I, I would say y'all go to krbe.com slash prank call requests because that's how people can get connected with Kevin. That's you Fridays. still can. But oh, yeah. we have a lot of these in the can, right? We do. Kev, because we... you had a series of this guy calling and these people calling. Absolutely. The oh, saga continues, the y'all. No, I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you know what? These guys are going to show up on closure. They're going to contact her and say, oh, we need some closure for someone who hasn't paid for a chair. Can you help us find this? lady closure is uh, something we do here on the rule and ryan show to help you get with someone who's ghosted you for whatever reason or you lost touch with them uh we'll get into it next on the rule and ryan show yep it's uh, about somebody that's no longer in your life and you want to know what the heck happened so you go to krbe.com if you want if you are looking for closure you go to krbe.com and Eric will connect with you and then you will just either get answers or you won't. There are some he's been working on for a while, others other people are easier to find than some. So, let's welcome Delia to the show and find out what happened in Delia's life where she is looking for that closure connection. Good morning, Delia. Hi, how's it going? Hey, it's going pretty good. So, Delia, who is it you're trying to get closure with? I'm trying to get closure with my uncle Mike. Um, he used to come over a lot, and I love him. He's, he's, you know, my dad's brother. And lately, he hasn't been over, and it's like a secret within the family, and nobody's telling me. And I confronted my cousins, and they're like, "Oh, just leave it alone." I want to know what's happening, and I want to see my uncle again. So it's been three months, and I know that my cousin Greg will know because he's the one who was like. Let it lie. Well, who is Greg in relation to you? Is is Greg, uh, you said a cousin, but how does he connect to this situation? He's my Uncle Mike's son. Okay, and y'all obviously y'all are close cousins? Yeah. You're getting warning signs from family members saying don't do but it. They, but they're not telling her, Eric. What, why not? It's human nature, Eric, to want to know, especially when but people some- say you can't know. Yeah, and I, I need to know, and I feel like I'm just out of the loop, and it, I don't like it. Well, Eric is giving okay. us a warning, and you've got... Yeah. Her cousin Greg on the line right now. Yep, that's what I'm just saying. Because I mean, there's a lot of people out there. I bet we could do a whole topic on people that wished they didn't know something that they learned. So Uncle Mike's not okay. answering. You're going to go straight to the other source, his son. Yeah. He says you're like reaching out a lot. That's why he wants to come on the show. Okay, hold on, Delia. Let's conference him in because he's heard it all. Hi, Greg. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. We appreciate you being here today. Hi, guys. Hey, Greg. Hey. You heard all that. You care to shed some light on this situation? Why is your dad MIA? So Delia. I am trying to be really nice to you. I'm giving you one last chance. Don't go there, okay? It's not going to make you happy. I'm not happy now, and I want to know. All right, look, here it is. You asked for it. So my dad, your Uncle Mike, slept with your mom. Ooh. So that is why he is not coming around anymore. You're saying your dad had an affair with her mom? Yeah. I know that it happened, and obviously that's why my dad has been just not welcome. I'm guessing it was uncovered three months ago if that's when he stopped coming around. Well, yeah, I mean, I just don't know how long it's been going on, but apparently longer than that. We're all mad at my dad right now, okay? I'm mad at my dad. My mom is mad at my dad. Your dad's mad at my dad. What about your mom's situation, Delia? How do you not know this? I mean, have you noticed your parents aren't speaking or... What's going on in your life with your parents? They're just, like, going about their business. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any tension. I guess they wanted to just put it under the rug. I I mean, this is crazy. Clearly, they want to keep their marriage together if they're hiding it from you. But, Greg, why wouldn't you want to say something to her? I'm pissed, but I'm not pissed at Delia. I'm pissed at my dad, you know? Yeah, but she must be pissed at her mom. That doesn't mean that I have to, like, get all into, you know, like, ruin Delia's relationship with her mom. Like, I figured in your own family, you can take care of your own stuff. I just figured that's not my place to do that. And I was just trying to, like, protect her, I guess, or something. I, I don't know. I'm just wondering what's happening with my dad now. Well, he's hurting. Yeah. 
Eric, I think you were right. You should have let sleeping dogs lie. No, I'm glad I know. Well, are that... you going to confront your mom now? Are you going to talk to your mom about this? Yeah, I am. I haven't been trying to ignore you or blow you off. I, I really haven't really known how to deal with the situation myself. So maybe you and me should get together at some point and we'll have a beer and we can just kind of talk about it because now you're basically in the same position that I am and it's a tough position to be in. Yeah. That sounds good. It's really terrible because, I mean, the repercussions of their affair, it's hurting so many people. Well, that's why there's all this drama and no one's talking to each other. So. Did you guys ever notice anything through the years? Like, do you ever see them anything? Well, I mean, sure. But, like, I don't know. My dad's just kind of a flirty guy, joshing and, like, joking and whatever. But I never, certainly never thought it was anything serious. What about you, Delia? Do you ever notice your mom? No, I mean, everybody's just nice to each other. and I didn't notice any weird stuff. What about their grandparents? Your grandparents, they got to be mad that their sons are dealing with all this stuff and fighting this I, out. I mean, I haven't talked to my grandparents about this, but my mom tells me my grandpa, my dad's dad, has given him uh, what he calls a sit-down. He's, he's pretty no-nonsense, so I'm sure that he gave him a pretty good talking to. Yeah, thou shalt not covet my brother's wife. I just haven't known how to deal with this situation myself, and I felt weird about, like, if Delia didn't know, like, being the one to break the news to her, like, I kind of figured maybe it was her mom's or her dad's responsibility to do that, and I didn't want to, like, overstep my boundaries. It has been crazy in our house as you can imagine, and it's been just kind of a nightmare, and so I, I don't know. I, I'm sorry, Dealey. I wasn't trying to ghost you. I, that wasn't my intention yeah. at all. No, I, I, I get it now. It's just crazy to me. I have to sort it out. Delia, you got your closure, but I think it's just opened up a whole new can of worms. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess that's uh, all we can do now for you there, Delia. You and Greg can talk this out on your own or wait and see what happens with the family dynamic, but now you know there's a huge bombshell. We, if you want to do roses down the line, reach out to me. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Bringing families back together. Right. Yeah. Oh, oh, God. God. Apart. <laughs> we appreciate you, Greg, for being available for the call. And Delia, now you know, so I hope this, um, I mean, you got your closure. I mean, it's not closure. It kind of opens up a whole other thing, but at least you have the answer. Well, yeah, I, definitely. I'm relieved. I mean, at least I'm in the family now. <laughs> Delia, I'll shoot you a text and let's go grab a beer this weekend or something, okay? Okay. Sounds good. Take care, guys. Thanks for being part of the Rule and Ryan show. Thanks. Thank y'all. Okay, bye-bye. You know, as screwed oh, up as man. I feel my family is at times, at least we've never done anything like that. That you know of. <laughs> it's not the first we've heard of that uh, here on our show of... Of people messing around with the in-laws and people um, don't think of big. They don't think of all picture. the repercussions, yeah. all the the fallout that the rest of the family is going to have to deal with. Yeah, you might have a little fun there for a little bit, but what are you thinking down the road? I guess at that moment nobody thinks like anything, right? They're not thinking. Well, about I, no, I feel like Eric. In some of the situations we've had here in the past, it was where. You know, there was like a bad spouse, and then the spouse of the other spouse is like recognizing, oh, you're not being treated well, and then that's how it starts. I mean, how do you come back from something like that, though? You just don't. The whole family screwed up now. Yeah, I'm trying to think. Eh, I don't think you can. Someday we'll have to do that, or we could do it now, too. Has anyone have been gone through that? Anybody listening who? Yeah. <laughs> we you just discovered it. You had a family Good drama. Time. Anybody listening? It, that's a, I don't know. If it, do you think anyone has done that one? 713-390-KRBE. That's 713-390-5723. If you just do, have any of you guys ever just shame your name type thing, really. Yeah, it is a shame yeah, your name. I'm telling you, shame your name. Who brings shame to your name? And in this case, it's specifically if the in-laws all messed around with each other. But like your dad's brother messed around with your mom. What if they got or, married? What if like your your uncle married your your mom? And, like, he buried his oh. brother's wife. Oh, God. Well, we definitely have had that situation happen, I think, on Roses, where the person left the one person for the brother. I don't remember if there were children involved, though. I think maybe in one scenario there was a small child involved that will then grow up and be like, oh, yeah, wait. So now you're telling me, wait, my, my stepdad uncle's my is dad? actually my Uncle Eddie? Ugh. <laughs> Ugh. Eric, did little... you one time <laughs> discover somebody was He's doing dead. something they shouldn't have been doing? Uh, no, mm -hmm. not my family. Not in the family, but wasn't it a friend you were telling me about up north? I can't remember. So many stories, I don't even remember that. Oh, well, we had the phones are full, so all I know is we're about to get a... Let's just go blind. A bunch of phone calls on this topic. Uh, Ahmad's in there right now. All right, 713-390-KRBE. Let's just start with the first phone call, Sam. Hi, welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. 
Hey, good morning. Welcome to the Roman Ryan Show. You're on. Usually we have a call screen. What's up? Hello? Yeah, you're on. Hi, what's your name? My name is Laura. Okay. Laura, tell us what your uh, Are you calling (laughs) because of this? Yes. Okay. Lay it on us. Was it you? Uh, Well, it actually happened to me. Um... I found out when my, when my, well, I have two kids from this particular person. Mm-hmm. And it turned out that uh, one weekend I went out of town and I came home. And next thing I know, I was told that my cousin was uh, having a a relationship with my kid's father. Uh-oh. Oh. Who told you this? A, fr- a family member. So the whole family knew about it and you didn't know about it. No, basically, oh. I didn't know anything about it. Oh, man. And what did you so do to your cousin? You, yeah, how, how did you I, handle it? What was your next step I, after finding it out? Who did you go for first? As of today, I haven't confronted her. And apparently her kids are actually, you know, they actually ask questions because why do her kids look like my kids? Oh, oh wow. Wait, wait, are you what? still with Are you still with this man? No. Okay. No. He's still with my and how long has it been since you found out that you still haven't confronted? Uh, it's been uh, going on maybe uh, 20 years. 20 wow. years? Oh, whoa. Why have you never you said anything? 20 years ago and you've said nothing? I guess after the first four or five I haven't years. Said anything, I haven't said anything to her. I haven't said anything to, uh, um, you know, to confront her or anything. But she knows that you know, years. right? She knows that you know. Yes. Okay. She knows that I know, mm-hmm. and my kids know now that they're they're older. Mm-hmm. They already know. So wow. it's, it's like now, now her kids are like, my mom is up, you know, yeah. for doing that. Wow. Wow. So, well, it's good oh that your kids gosh. know that now they know they've got half siblings. Man. It's funny how some people, as soon as you find out, they're going to go right to your face and yeah, yeah. Maybe and punch people and non-confrontational. That's really not. Like, there's no way I could sit on something like that for 20. I couldn't sit on for 20 seconds. Yeah. Even if you don't fight them, at least let them know that I know. I'm. Mean, don't think you got one over on me. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, Jessica is calling in because her husband messed around with Jessica's cousin. Jessica, I would like to know a lot of things, but how did you find out that your cousin was having an affair with your husband? Good morning. Good morning. Morning. Okay, so how'd you um, find out? Yes, I found out because um, we have some cameras in the house. Oh. And my daughter, my oldest daughter, I normally, I was working in the district. So I was working during the day, and my daughter, I told her, don't be on the TV the whole day. So get out and play with the dogs. And then my husband came from work because he works in construction. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Well, he he worked in construction, and then my daughter, she told me I went into my grandma's house to get a broom, and then I saw something suspicious. I, I like I I feel that they jump, my cousin and my husband, my ex husband, and then she, my cousin went to work, left to work, and then my daughter went back to the cameras and saw the whole action. Oh no! Like, oh, no. How, how old is how old is your daughter at the time? Oh, good Lord. She was at the time eleven. Oh, oh my God! No. That would oh, scar a child. Oh so, my God! And then what? Uh-huh. Oh, good and, grief! Yes, and then um, she told me she when I got back to from work, she told me I have a a, a surprise for you. I was like, oh, if it's a letter, bring it to me. I'm cooking right now. And she told me no, it's in, in a video. I was like, okay, so I went to the TV. She she saw. Me. She put play, and I saw all the whole action that they were kissing and they were messing around. Oh, and then, God, I'm sorry. And then I, uh, yes. And then my, I called my mom. She was out of town. No, I called my brother because I didn't want to call my mom. Uh-huh. But my brother called my mom, and then it was a big drama. And now we don't speak with my own cousin, and everything went apart. Like, well, how did you confront family. your husband? Did you call, or your, you know, did you ex, just call him yeah. your ex? Did you just co- immediately confront him, or what? No, not at the time because I, I, I didn't feel prepared. <laughs> um, my brother told me go to my mom's house and stay there for a few days. For the meantime, that she's out of town, and then after I left the house, well, I was in shock. I called him. I was like, you have to leave the house because this and this happened. I found out that you were. Messing around with my cousin, and he left the house. 
How many so, years ago was this? Wow. I, did I miss that part? How old? Your daughter's 11, so how old is she now? She's uh, 13. So it was oh, like this is two, two years ago. ago. Wow. How, how's the relationship wow. with her and her dad? Because once you see that, I could no respect for my dad. Does she have a yeah. relationship is with he, him? Yeah, is he in her life? Oh, yes. Mm-hmm. She's still with, with it. She still sees her dad. Like, well, um, I mean, sometimes and, we heard that the dad... You have no choice, though, too. You're 13. Dad, but, you have to see yeah. him, but I'd be like... Yeah. That just sucks. Um, you know, I'm really sorry you went through that. Obviously, we can still feel the pain in your voice. We're asking the question, who has been in a situation where family members, you know, if the in-laws messed around, the cousins messed around, Santina is up next. Hi, Santina. Good morning. Welcome to the Rule and Ryan Show. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. You want to tell What's us what happened? What's the situation in your family? Yeah, so my aunt's brothers... Um, swapped wives basically they both got divorced and married each other's wives oh, and i never what? really knew about it and now it's hard for me to think of them with their original wives because they're so <laughs> compatible with their new wives that's how long ago and everybody everybody's okay with it <laughs> it worked it was it was like 20 something years ago so it was before they had kids okay but yeah they so still let get me together ask you this family how long they was all get each together. couple married Sorry, how long was each couple married to the original wife before the divorces happened and they just made the, fl- the flip-flop? I was, like, maybe a couple years. So it wasn't a long time. And they're all and chummy they're together? That now. is so that is weird. wild. Yeah, they, go, they, go all, like, they all just go to get, get together. Like, I would never have known had someone not told me. So, oh, so my mom, it's my mom's brother's wife's brother. So it was, it's not like my immediate family, but, yeah, you know, still, kind of related. Like, fun fact, I used to be married to her. Wow. Oh, really? Well, I was married wow. to her. I guess they had bonding Flip-flop. over that. They must oh. have got divorced how did, how did they they impro- I mean, so I go on vacation hard. together? What are, how they yes, approach remember the when situation? We were in that no, they there. don't live in the same <laughs> state, but, you know, they do get together with family functions, and it doesn't. there's, like, no problems. Like, it's the weirdest thing. <laughs> I mean, what was that first conversation wow. like? Hey, bro, I think your wife's a better fit for me. Yeah, I think your wife's a better fit for me. Let's get divorced and Let's see what it. happens. Swap wives. Man. Yeah, really That's just so weird. That Conroe story. is wild, y'all. Yeah, Conroe. <laughs> Every caller is from Conroe. Wild. So weird. How do we have three in a row, Kevin? You're going to get canceled. The listener line You're at 713-39. I'm sorry. The listener line is 713-278-VENT. If you have a story wow. where somebody in your wow. family flip-flopped or switched out with a mate for another person, you know, whether it's. Like in Santina's case, it's totally fine. Everyone's like, yeah, that's just a thing that happened. It's happened. all they've ever known, you know. It's all they've ever known. So and in ago. other cases, not so great. So we'll hear from you there. Coming up next, a little fun we're going to have with the Hallmark Christmas movies ready to launch in October. They've got 40 in the pipeline to launch because they knew, well, they do Christmas all year long, but they knew obviously a strike was coming too. They hurried up, they finished it up. So we get new material on the Hallmark channel. I'm going to read you all some of the synopsis of some of these movies, and you're going to guess is this an actual Hallmark movie or is it not? What do you want to call it, Eric? I think oh, you have a cute name Hallmark for it. or Hall Miss. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> and then someone's going to go on the cruise. No, just kidding. Uh, <laughs> we, we do, do have something Christmasy to get yeah, away, though. Coming up next Hall Scoop. Miss. Yeah, Trans-Siberian <laughs> Orchestra tickets next on KRBE. From the big screen to the big house. Blue and Ryan Celebrity Scoop. 104.1 KRBE. It is brought to you by Innovative Lasers of Houston, and we've got Trans-Siberian Orchestra tickets for you if you want to get your Christmas on. It's a pair of tickets to see the Trans-Siberian Orchestra on December the 10th at the Toyota Center. Now, you can get more information at toyotacenter.com or just be color 10, 713-390-KRBE. That's 5723 on your phone. Caller 10, you get right in the middle of the Christmas spirit when you go on December the 10th to see them. Now, speaking of that, the Hallmark Channel, earlier this year talked about they're doing a Christmas cruise. They're constantly thinking about Christmas all year through and they are filming and they are in production for all their different movies every season. They get them out early. They're going to be released in October. They've got 40 of them in the pipeline. Oh my God. I have got a lot of names and synopses of Hallmark movies, but I also have a list of completely made up Christmas holiday movies. Well, isn't the premise basically the same in all the movies? Uh, I mean, well, they're likely yeah. pairing with a guy, a widowed person meets a new out. man. And the, best, the best part is that to see how creative that the Lifetime and Hallmark channels get. Think about that's just Hallmark with forty. Mm-hmm. What does yes. Lifetime have, and what other channels? Netflix. And then there's like they some other have, channel, like Great American yeah. Family Channel, or I don't know what that one was that Cameron Candace Cameron went to. And there's three different rotating channels, but we're focusing specifically on, on the Hallmark. On Hallmark. When I watch yeah. these, I always get mad. Like, the miss. That's the only time I miss living up north is uh, the watching snow. the snow seasonal and, and the. 
fireplace yeah, actually that's the, working. When I watch these movies, I'm like, oh, because they never they won't do one in Houston. No, it's hot. Probably for obvious reasons. Shorts yeah. and a t-shirt on yeah. Christmas Day. Ruins the whole and then vibe. you see like. All right, so I'm going to quiz yeah. you guys. I'm going to read y'all some synopsis, and you're going to tell me which one is the fake movie. I'll give you two okay. choices. Okay. Fire away. So here's one. It's called "Where Are You Christmas?" When Addie wishes for a year without Christmas, she wakes up in a world of black and white. She must work together with the town mechanic to restore Christmas. Is that a Hallmark movie? Or is this a Hallmark movie? Christmas in the Enchanted Cabin. During a snowstorm, Grace stumbles upon a hidden cabin in the woods. Inside, she finds a mysterious diary that tells of a long lost love story. And with the help of a local historian, Ben, she unravels the past and finds her own love story amidst the enchantment of the. And yeah, they both sound plausible. Like a, I'd that say, world. Oh. This, the cabin one's got to be the real one. What was the, cabin. Cabin. What was the first I, one? Yeah, because the first one they go in black and white. And I can't see Hallmark. That's doing basically it. copying uh, Pleasantville. Yeah, it is. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say yeah. I'm gonna say that one's the fake one. I was gonna say that too, but I'll go with the first one was real. You think the first one's real? We okay. all think. Where the first she wishes away Christmas. I think the yes. first one is fake. Yeah, I think the first one's fake. Kevin, first one's fake. You guys are wrong. Christmas in the Enchanted Cabin is made up. Oh, no yeah. way! Yeah. Yeah. So they're gonna do a black and white movie. Wow, they're rip- you're right. They're ripping up yeah. Pleasantville. Yeah. Remember they, they yeah, used yeah. Uh, the yeah. Don Knotts guy. He's yeah. like the ter- uh, TV for TV Man. repairman. Yeah. Yep. 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 Okay. How about this one? Um, <laughs> wow. Time for her to come home for Christmas. Facing her first Christmas without her mom and looking to avoid loneliness, oh. Carly heads to a quaint town to lead the church choir at Christmas. Once there, she meets Matthew, a man back in town after serving in the army. Oh, yeah. It's a really long description yeah, on both on of these one. movies. I feel so like we got the info. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 What, what, that what was that one called? That one is called Christmas in the... Wait, right, hold on. Um, oh, which one's that one? Oh, um, no, wait, which one's that one called? I just lost it. I scanned it. <laughs> um, where she lost her mom. Well, she clearly that's mom. not the one. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it is. Today, Junior. Oh, it's called Try Time for Her to Come Home for Christmas. Because there's so many movies on this list, okay. fake and real. If it's not real, Time it for needs Her to, be. to Come Home for Christmas. Is that the one that's real? Or is this the one that's real? Santa's Little Matchmakers. Santa's elves, Ellie and Eddie, accidentally crash land in a suburban neighborhood on Christmas Eve. Determined to spread holiday cheer, they team up with single parents, Lisa and Mark, to create a Christmas miracle and find love along the Stupid. way. Uh, that's fake. I'm Santa's Little fake. Matchmakers. I'm hoping that one's fake. That's fake. That one sounds. Yeah. That doesn't that sound sounds like lovey enough. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. You don't sound Should like I go that opposite one's fake. of everyone again? I don't yeah. I'm going to go with your gut, Sam, because you're a female. So and you time for her stuff. to come home for Christmas. I don't or watch Santa's this Little crap. Matchmakers. But it's still Which in one? your DNA to love this stuff. What? I, well, then I'm not wired correctly. Because <laughs> all right, I say the first one's the real one. Me too. First one's real. I'm going to say the second one's real. Sam is. Incorrect. Oh, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. Santa's little matchmakers. This would be easier if I'd printed all these out because there's a lot of them. Give us one, do more, one more. Give us one, one more. Because one more. We, okay. We're all tied right now. All okay. right. This one's called Holiday Road. When bad weather leaves each of them stranded at the airport for the holidays. True. Christy, a travel <laughs> oh, yeah. writer and a devoted mom oh, yeah. and her son, plus a stubborn senior, mm-hmm. all, you know, there's this whole thing about all the people that they intersect with and then she finds love in the airport. That's Holiday Road. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, or are we going with a holiday harvest of hearts? Oh, like Sarah, a talented chef, returns to her family's struggling farm for Christmas, where she teams up with a handsome, handsome expert in farming to save the farm and bring a bountiful harvest. I like the name. I think the first one's real. That's the second one's oh, fake. They both seem this one. They're both plausible, yes. but I think a the first one's real. Holiday harvest of hearts. Because the first or, one's so cheesy, it's got to be real. I'm going to yeah. say first one. Yeah, I'm saying first, first one. First. first one. We all say first. You guys are all right. You guys yeah. are all right. Yeah. That is first It's the Rula and Ryan show on KRBE with what's going down, down. 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 in H-Town. It is brought to you by Duncan. Beyonce is coming to town, and the city of Houston's throwing a big homecoming party. It's going to be at Avenida Plaza this weekend. Celebration's going to include 400 drones creating a tribute to Beyonce. There's going to be a band, DJ fireworks. It's all a free event from 6.30 to 8.45 p.m. So with all the people coming into town for Beyonce or going, you know, 
A lot of people driving like in from the burbs. Yeah. Be going. Metro I'll is be there. Metro's upping their ante. They're putting the final touches on adding trains and shuttle buses to handle the crowd. So upon leaving NRG, if the platform's full, you might uh, be directed to nearby special events bus, which will travel the same route as the red line and stop at the existing bus stops. You have your outfit ready? I do. I'm just picking out the last pieces. I need a good pair of pants. How can people follow uh, That are not you? ripped. To see it. It's yeah, everything no, is ripped. I want them to be ripped. What's your uh, handle so people can see your outfit? Uh, at Space City Pretty. Follow me. I'm oh, posting I thought them. Today's outfit would be at home, Homeless. <laughs> Don't you what? have the ripped, the, the ripped uh, jeans again? Okay, that flopped. Anyway, <laughs> moving on. <laughs> oh, got it. Oh, Coming yeah. up next, the rapid yeah. fire quiz. Yeah. The just rapid for, fire uh, quiz. Just for that, Ahmad, you're in the game. You're going to play today. Ooh, okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. Okay, so I we need more five questions. contestants. Oh, no. 713-390-KRVE. It's more about playing the game sometimes. In this case, if you have a child in your life that loves Peppa Pig, we have got a chance to spend an evening with Peppa Pig at the Smart Financial Center. Five contestants, 713-390-KRVE. <laughs> Who's going to win? Find out next on The Ruler oh, Ranch Show.